Nadine Dorries. One has to question whether Nadine Dorries was ever actually a real human being or just a Boris Johnson fan account that grew legs and teeth. Like, never has there been such a devoted fan of another politician. Like, she loved him beyond reason, and I mean that literally. Like, her defences of him would often reveal the most damaging truths about him and the Conservative Party. Like, during the COVID inquiry, which looked into why we locked down so late and had so many tens of thousands of avoidable deaths, she said this about Boris Johnson, thinking it made him look good. When the information he was permanently being given was, you have to lock down, this is what you have to do. And, and I think he was a bit of a lone voice at times, saying but we, can't, we can't absolutely destroy the economy. We can't keep children at home. I think he was at times the only voice raising those concerns, the vast majority of voices from the scientific advisors, the medical advisors, Labour MPs, Conservative MPs, everybody, journalists, the media was locked down. Or when MPs were trying to get rid of Boris Johnson and she said, The Conservative Party donors have said themselves, that they aren't going to support the party if, if the Prime Minister is removed. I think a number of MPs in marginal seats need to hear that and, and need to understand what they're doing. £18 million those donors have donated to the Conservative Party over recent times. It's those, do those donors that have helped us to win the election and they need to hear and that message. Like, she was on TV saying that the Conservative Party decides who gets to run the country based on which billionaire gives them the most money. Taking money in exchange for making major political decisions is the definition of corruption, and she just said it on Sky News. And that's even more interesting when you think about the £1.9 million in Russia-linked donations that have funded the Conservative Party. It's therefore no wonder that the Russia report said the government actively avoided looking into Russian interference in UK referendums and elections. And given the £3.5 million they've received from fossil fuel companies and climate deniers, their continued licensing of oil fields kind of makes sense. So Nadine Dorries also taught us that we need stricter rules on party financing. May she never know rest or peace.